everyone. I am Dr. Jagada Saravanan. My area of specialization is numerical analysis and fluid mechanics. The subject, mathematical transform techniques, in which we are going to discuss about root finding techniques. Before entering to the main topic, we will talk about few basic terms. Polynomial function. A function f of x is said to be a polynomial function if f of x is polynomial in x. Example, x cubed plus x squared plus x plus 1 equal to 0. It is a cubic polynomial. Coming to the picture, algebraic function. A function which is a sum or difference or product of two polynomials is called algebraic function. Otherwise, it is called null algebraic or transcendental function. The transcendental function which has trigonometry or logarithm or exponential or hyperbolic functions. So this is the example for uh, transcendental function. The equation, algebraic equation and uh, transcendental equation uh, we will uh, discuss. That is, if uh, f of x is an algebraic uh, function, then f of x equal to 0 is called algebraic equation. If f of x is a transcendental function, then f of x equal to 0 is called a transcendental equation that is the general form of algebraic or a transcendental equation is f of x equal to zero where the function f of x is a defined and continuous on the interval x lies between a and b The roots of an equation, a number alpha which is real or uh, complex is called the roots of the equation f of x equal to 0 if f of alpha equal to 0. We will take one small example. square minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. If you solve this quadratic equation, we will be getting 1 and 2. They are called the roots of this algebraic equation. They are called exact roots because it satisfies this uh, algebraic equation. Using the direct methods, it is not possible to find the algebraic equations of degree more than 4 and transcendental equation to give exact roots. But we can give in the place of exact roots, approximate roots are available. These approximate roots or uh, able to find using the numerical methods in which the first we are going to discuss about bisection method. Suppose the equation we are taking f of x equal to 0 which has one real root between two real numbers x0 and x1. This x0 and x1 are selected in such a way that f of x0 and f of x1 will have opposite sign values. That is, f of x0 is less than 0, that is negative, and f of x1 is greater than 0, that is positive. To proceed further, that is to get x2, we can bisect the closed interval x0 and x1 into two off intervals and finding the midpoint x2 equal to x0 plus x1 by 2. Regarding f of x2, if f of x2 equal to 0, then x2 is becoming the exact root. Otherwise, two cases arise. That is, f of x2 that is, f of x2 less than 0 or f of x2 is uh, greater than 0. Then x3 becoming x2 plus x1 by 2. Here x3 equal to x2 plus x0 by 2 on the concept of the root lies between opposite sign values. Proceeding like this further, 
of a bisection method we will have successive small intervals and we will be noticing the roots are repeated this method is also called as offing method or bolsona method we will take one example f of x equal to x cube minus 5x plus 1 equal to 0 first initially we are taking we are assuming 0 is the maybe the root of uh, this equation so f of 0 we are getting the positive value and if you are taking f of 1 we are getting the negative value we are not moving to the next real number 2 because here only the opposite sign values we got it and we are declaring the root lies between 0 and 1 to proceed further using the bisection method that is the average concept we are taking so x here we got it x not equal to 0 and x1 equal to 1 to proceed further so f of x naught which gives positive value and f of x1 which gives negative value now to find x2 the formula is x naught plus x1 by 2 we got the value 0 0.5 f of x2 we got the negative value so x2 is 0 0.5 and f of x2 we got it negative value next x3 to find we are taking x2 compulsory because that is the, the latest one which gives the negative value and moving this we are skipping because the same value we won't consider it then moving to the, the top one which gives the opposite sign value that is the reason x3 x2 plus x0 by 2 that is to find x3 the root lies between x0 and x2 which gives the value 0 0.25 so f of x3 which gives the value the negative value so we are entering x3 equal to 0 0.25 f of x3 which gives negative value to find x4 x3 is uh, selected f of x3 which gives negative and we are moving this is the same sign and this is also skipped because same sign and we will stop at f of x0 because which gives positive value that is the reason to find x4 x3 plus x0 by 2 on the concept of opposite sign values which gives so x4 equal to equal to 0 0.125 f of x4 which gives positive value next to find x5 the latest one x4 is selected which gives the positive value the immediately moving the before one f of x3 which gives the negative so that is the reason x3 is selected which gives so x5 we got it 0 0.1875 f of x5 we got it positive value next we will move to x6 the latest one x5 is selected and x4 is f of x4 is skipped because both are same sign so we will stop at f of x3 that is the reason x6 it's nothing but to find x5 plus x3 by 2 you can notice here when if it is a x0 0 next we got it x1 1 x2 0 0.5 x3 0 0.25 x4 0 0.125 next we got it 0 0.1875 next we got it 0 0.21875 
This particular thing, if you're noticing, it's nothing but 0 0.2. Here also we got it, 0 0.2. Already we told the root lies between 0 and 1, satisfying the condition of the root lies between opposite sign values. Now we are going to declare according to the bisection method using the finding the midpoint formula 0 0.2 is the approximate root of the given algebraic equation thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates